Hello there friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The founder of Igbo Youth in Nigeria and in Diaspora, Comrade Chukuma Dike, has challenged the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Namdekano, to a DNA test for the both of them to ascertain if truly Namdekano is an Igbo man. He further said that Namdekano, during his numerous broadcasts, has been insulting Igbo mothers by calling their sons Fulani blood. This, according to comrade Chuku Madike, is totally unacceptable. Comrade Chuku Madike, however, volunteered to submit himself for a DNA test and have challenged Namdekano to submit himself too, so that the entire world will be sure that Namdekano is indeed an Igbo man. During our interview with him, he called on well-meaning Igbo philanthropists to sponsor the independent DNA test challenge. While speaking, he cried emotionally how he how the said abusive language has caused or how the said abusive language has caused so much pain to our mothers, who the world now see as promiscuous. We appeal to all Nigerians to mount pressure on the two individuals to conduct their DNA test so that this issue can be laid to rest. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. Could there be any reason for anyone to doubt the fact that Nambekano is an Igbo man? I stand to be corrected. Can anyone in his or her right senses or anyone who really, really, you know, is in good condition come out to challenge Namdekano's um, Igboness, as it were, permit me to use that particular uh, language. I see no reason why Namdekano's um, Igboness should be challenged and uh, a DNA test should be uh, called for. Well, Nambekano is a person of himself and uh, has been working so hard and tirelessly to help the people of the Southeast to achieve Biafra as it were. So be that as it were, if anybody is not fine and okay with his approach, his pattern, his actually style, it is not out of place if such a person, you know, decides to take another route or face another particular way to achieve the same thing. Just like we have seen the Hanese Indigos are uh, channeling their own strength towards the presidency of the Southeast uh, region. The BIM, the one led by Chief Raf Wazurike, you know, they prefer the very calm way of uh, calling for the agitation. But so far, Nandekano has decided to choose the route that best suits his personality 
and the brutes that he best think would work out better for him instead of uh, looking at other people's lifestyle or style and uh, working with their own timing. But however, it is what it is. Do you think that there is any possibility that Nam De Kano is not Igbo? Could that be possible? Of course, I don't think it is. If uh, uh, Comrade Chukuma DK is challenging uh, Nambe Kano to a DNA test, does that actually prove that Nambe Kano is not Igbo? The fact that he speaks the way he speaks, insults people or challenges people or air his views in a manner that does not sit well with anybody? Personally, I don't think that is what it is. I don't think that is the route or the route that he should be taking. But however, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Be that as it is, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Enam Bekanu is a man of himself and he is only following things the way he thinks or feels best suits him. He is walking in the direction that he feels he prefers to walk in. That is his own temperament. Nobody can argue that with him. So I find it difficult to understand why Comrade Chukuma Dike is requesting for a DNA test from Nambekano to ascertain if Nambekano is truly an Igbo man. Because he said that Nam De Kano during his numerous broadcasts has been insulting Igbo mothers by calling their sons Fulani blood. Well, it is what it is. Uh, I really do not think Nam De Kano will pay any attention to Comrade Chukuma Dike on this particular claim for a DNA test. It is not unknown to everybody that Nam De Kano hails from Afaraku in Umahia in Abia State. And uh, it was well known to all and sundry when his, he lost his aged parents who were the king of uh, his village community in Afaraku, king and queen, who were buried on the same day in February last year. Namdekanu being the first son, a prince of his community and his kingdom and now supposedly should be crowned king in the stead of his uh, father. But however, I think because of the higher calling that he has taken, it is uh, probably impossible for him to be crowned king in his village uh, in the stead of his father. But however, I disagree with comrades Chukuma Dike on the claims of uh, a DNA test to prove if Namdekano is an Igbo or not. Take it or leave it. That is not a true test to ascertain if Namdekano is Igbo or not Igbo. But however, probably because of cloud chasing or because um, of uh, cheap popularity, Comrade Chukumadike seem to uh, wants to become popular because of cloud chasing to see uh, to get some cheap popularity as it were but however it remains to be seen what uh, the true situation will be but for, to a very large extent I have uh, a strong belief that Namdekano would not in any way uh, pay attention to the challenge by comrade Chukuma DK for a DNA test challenge well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I would like to know what your thoughts are. Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.